If you're a parent of a young athlete, pay attention. Our next story is about a Montgomery County resident who started a business that trains athletes with injury prevention in mind. And his program has meant success for some of this area's most well-known athletes. Pull three, come on. One, big pause and hold. To Blair O'Donovan, working out is more than coming to the gym and lifting weights. Good job, good. Nice job, good, take a little breather. This Montgomery County resident has developed an innovative program for student athletes. Touch and go. Two, nice and tall. Let's go. That focuses on helping them understand the strengths and weaknesses of their bodies. The idea is really to like inform the athletes of, of a healthier model in terms of taking care of themselves, their bodies, recovery oriented. Last one. Yes, sir. Good job. Good. Good. Nice work, buddy. Nice Thanks. job, good, nice job. Right now, what we notice is kids are playing so much sport all year long. There's not a whole lot of stopping going on. So really trying to educate them on the nutritional side, how to, how to help them improve their recovery, how to, how to take care of uh, improving their sleep. Um, but also behind that, um, the bigger factor is, is appropriate training methods, you know, age appropriate, intensity appropriate, that sort of thing. O'Donovan grew up in Montgomery County, and for the past 14 years, his company, Healthy Baller, has been working with athletes who have dreams of playing for a Division I college team. You feeling good today? Yeah. Okay, good. While the strength and conditioning business has exploded over the past several years, O'Donovan has found a special niche in the area that has become all too familiar to athletes, injuries. He uses something called the functional movement screen test. Really, we wanted to use it more as a baseline for our athletes. We use that as a way to see, hey, what's going on with your body? Where are you tight? We want to show them with, with physical results, but also with a template to help them understand how to improve upon that. Because um, really, uh, movement is the foundation of athletics. They have to be able to move well before we try to increase any type of you know, loading or, or, or other training methods. You're going to stack your hip, knee, and ankle, tap your heel, come back, okay, stack hip, knee, and ankle, come back. Okay, do four on the right and four on the left. Through this test, he is able to identify where a possible problem might arise for an athlete. We're looking at stability from a number of different joints, you know, hip, knees, ankles. Um, can he control his body on one leg through a certain range of motion? And from there, put together a program where they can link into an appropriate training and exercise program as it relates to the results of the test. He says it's all about preventing injury as much as possible. We want to find any little edge we can to see is there something we're missing in terms of helping these athletes stay healthy and not injured. So we, I like this test in particular, you know, um, because it, it gives us a standard protocol, standard measurements. Um, there's a score, you know, based off of each, you know, each, uh, each testing. Okay, we'll rest a little bit longer here. Healthy baller facilities are neither over the top or fancy. How's your shoulder doing, by the way? All of the trainers worked under O'Donovan's guidance at one time or another. Besides training athletes, O'Donovan also travels the globe to work players and teams from Italy to China. What do you feel comfortable doing then? I can do like curls and like yeah. pull down and stuff like that. His unassuming demeanor parlays well into keeping his athletes focused and healthy. As a parent coming in to the gym, like I've been doing this for a long time, there's a lot of trainers that just kind of, let's go, let's go to work, let's do push up squats, let's do all this and that, put some weights on, and they don't know anything about the kid's body. And anybody can make a kid work hard, but is it smart? You know, any of my kids will run into the wall 10 times in a row for me, they'll do that. But it might not be the best use of our time, you know, and, and, the, mo and the safest. And for me personally, being, I've, I've done this for so long, like I, I need to make sure I'm doing everything in my power to make sure that they're going in the right direction, that I'm keeping them as healthy as possible. And what about all of the concern over kids playing too much sports? O'Donovan says that's a battle that can't be won, but discipline in one particular area can make all of the difference in the world when it comes to staying healthy. The American Academy of Pediatrics did a study, but they were really comparing the variables of sleep, not just to like activity, but like hours of hours of participation in sport, um, a fun factor. The kids are like burnout. They're comparing it to private coaching. So the factors that I'm always blaming of like they play too much, play too much, they never stop. They said sleep is, is dominantly the bigger factor in this process. So kids that don't get eight hours of sleep or more are, are significantly higher, like, like out of the roof, higher, higher risk of injury. O'Donovan grew up in Montgomery County and doesn't hesitate when you ask him what it is about this area that has made him stick around. 
I've learned over the course of time that I really love uh, youth athletics. I love the middle school, I love the high school athletics. I was fortunate to spend time in the NFL with the Baltimore Ravens for two years. Fortunate to spend time in the NHL with the, with the Capitals, Washington Capitals. And I've, I've actually coached in college as well. But I love youth sports in Montgomery County. I just have a blast with it. Um, I have a lot of good friends who are coaching in the county that I grew up with. And there's a lot of kids that I work with. So I really enjoy the process of seeing them play, develop, you know, just turn into to young adults. It's been a lot of fun. To find out more about the Healthy Baller program, go to HealthyBaller.com.